should solve In the last episode, we learned the true meaning of posturing to the Buddha. Today, let's talk about how to pay respects to the Buddha. It's stated in Da Bi Chou San Chen Wei Yi Jing. One shall not pay respect to an elder monastic while reading the sutra or chanting. One shall not pay respect to an elder monastic while standing at a higher step than the elder. One shall not pay respect to an elder monastic if the elder has already left. One should not pay respect to an elder monastic from one seat. One should not pay respect to the Buddha while wearing a hat. Furthermore, it is inappropriate to posture to a monastic while getting a shave. Do you expect the venerable to stop their shaving process and receive your venerdation? In addition, there's also requirements for the number of bows. There is a distinction in the number of bows in a prostration. From one bow to one of eight bows. Usually, paying respects to a person is only one bow. But if you are very respectful and reverent to the elder, you can invite them to the main shrine to accept their respect. But most of the virtuous elders are very modest and humble, and tells you that a half bow or joint palm is enough. Then you should do it accordingly. This is also a form of respect. But if you are posturing to the Buddha, then you need three bows because the Buddha doesn't speak, so you have to finish three bows. How do we posture specifically? Actions are. One, after half bow, join your palms. Two, slowly squat down with both feet. Three, put your right hand down first. Four, then your left hand and in front of the left side. Five, move your right hand forward, align with your left hand with your palms level. Six, forehead touch the ground. Make a fist and turn your palms facing up, which means seeking the Buddha way. At the same time, visualize the Buddha standing on the lotus in our hands. Accept our respect. Seven. Turn both palms facing down, flat on the ground. Represent accepting the Dharma and liberating all beings to give universally with a mind of equality. Eight. Forehead off the ground. Nine. Pull the right hand back at your chest level. Ten. Put your left hand in front of your chest and slowly stand up, join your palms together. Finally, half bow. Like this, one bow is completed. How many bows depend on your own time and wish. No matter how many bows, sincerity is the most important thing. Becoming more knowledgeable day by day.